one time should the kid keep when he was in there on the airplane and he was shaking his leg and the Prabhupada said, stop that. Very bad. <laughs> and I know another disciple, he told us the story that one time Shri Prabhupada, he said, that means that um, you have a disturbed mind. You know? So Shri Prabhupada, he was so disturbed by, by he wanted the Shri Kirti Prabhu to feel that Shri Prabhupada just wanted to go and chastise everybody. He wanted to tell, you know, tell it how it is. So he was so eager to go onto the stage that he's just listening, he's just shaking his leg, waiting, waiting. And they weren't inviting him to speak. They just wanted him to come as an honorary guest because Srila Prabhupada became very well known, just like his guru. They wanted him to be there, but they didn't want Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur to speak <laughs> because he would go and say it how it is. So Srila Prabhupada, he didn't wait for them, for them to invite him to speak. As soon as a speaker finished speaking, Shri Prabhupada stood up and went straight to the podium. <laughs> and he went to the podium and he just began, he was speaking in Hindi, so all the disciples, Brahmananda and Shruti, all they could hear was, you know, Hindi and then sometimes speaking, Sarva Dharmam Parityaja Ja Mame Kam Shadhanar Singh, you know, Bhagavad Gita, chanting Bhagavad Gita mantras, and he was preaching and preaching. And what Shri Prabhupada was saying, because all of a sudden, basically, he talked for 10 minutes, he just was there, you know, chastised him 10 minutes, very short, he went back to his seat, and then he said, okay, we can go now. <laughs> and then they went in the car, and so then he asked his disciples, so what, what did you think? And they said, oh, we, we can't understand Hindi, but we heard the Bhagavad Gita story is very nice. You're sharing the Bhagavad Gita and you can show to him. Shri Prabhupada said, he revealed to them what he was telling them. Shri Prabhupada went on stage and the first thing he said, he said, all of you here will never be successful because, <laughs> because you haven't mentioned Krishna's name once. How can you not name Krishna's name and the place that he spoke the Bhagavad Gita. And then he started preaching, you know, that you have to put Krishna in the center to be successful. And Krishna, uh, Srila Prabhupada exemplified that. See how much Srila Prabhupada did, you know, just by um, preaching the glories of Krishna. So that was one of the pastimes that we heard by Shruti Kirti Prabhu. We were very fortunate. And also learning that, you know, if we don't, if we 